it is a cold and blowy windy day in Canberra and I have to say it's a great day because we're off a day early as per tradition I think John's got heaps of jokes wants to get back into jokes is that right oops yep the uh, toilet won't flush there's a wooden shoe in it what the toilet won't flush there's a wooden shoe in it why is there a wooden shoe in it it's clogged and he's got lots of new toys, as you can see. What's this toy? This is a tyre pressure monitoring system. Just trying to work it out. He's just got to sink all the tyres. Is that right? Yep. I know what this thing is, but I reckon I can drive underneath it. John has another new toy. What is it? Uh, it's a gauge 2. Well, I basically only wanted to check out the transmission temperatures, but I've got it set up so I've got the average fuel economy at the moment, the load, the water temperature, and the transmission temperature. There's hundreds of things you can set up. That's why I'm only interested in the transmission temperature, basically. Here we are, we're at Trundle, a little town in central New South Wales. We stopped here because it's sort of halfway between Canberra and Ningen, and that was going to be our original stop for the first night when we were going to leave tomorrow. John's currently reading the instructions for the tyre pressure thing because we kept getting one of the tyres kept giving an alarm out even though it was only one degree off what no, it no, should be. Just, just alarming for no reason, I don't know why. Yeah. So Instru it, instructions aren't much help. It's $10 a night to park on an unpowered site at Trundle Showground. And it has hot and cold running showers and flushing toilets over there. And this is the showground. It's not as cold as Canberra, but it's not warm either. But I just thought I'd have a little wonder. Good morning. It is cold. It was so cold last night. Thank goodness for the heater. Everything is ice. Really icy. We're going to move on early this morning. But there's a few birds around, but otherwise everything is so incredibly quiet. Today we're heading towards Ningen, maybe Burke or somewhere in between. I'm not sure. We're just driving through Tottenham and you can see their water tower has been painted. It's really good.
When we were planning doing this trip, we decided not to go to Cameron's Corner because we just thought it'd be so busy with 10,000 bashers visiting, we wouldn't get the same atmosphere. But Mr Howe found something else significant for us to visit. A bunch of rocks stuck together with cement. There you go. It, it is not. It's, well, it's a geographical centre of New South Wales. So we thought we'd come and have a look. Have a look at it, yeah. And it was pretty, uh, an amazing little road to drive along. We've seen heaps of birds, foxes, a wild dog, kangaroos and emus. And don't have photos of nearly any of them because as soon as they, the car approached, of course, they ran away. But it was just an enjoyable drive. Here we are, we've made it for lunch. We're a bit early to camp, but we're at Ningen and I had to stop and visit the big bogan. And he is big. We're going to look for a bakery. If we can't find a bakery, we've got wraps. Too early to camp at Ningen, so we've decided to head towards Burke and camp there for the night. While we wait for the emu to get off the road, I will see you on the other side. Yeah.